Good evening guys and welcome to part one of episode five of David Hugh Jeff One Vlogs. Um, as you can see, this is what rain does to your hair. Hmm. Just walked home from college. Uh, that, that's the reason why uh, the episodes have been, or ha this episode hasn't been up uh, yet, uh, due to lots of coursework. Apologies for that. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at the Sauber C32. Uh, which was launched on Saturday, the Red Bull RB9, which was launched on Sunday, uh, the Mercedes W04, which was launched yesterday, um, the Toro Rosso STR8, which was launched yesterday, the Caterham CT03, which was launched today, and the Marussia MR02, which was launched today as well. So that was a bit of a mouthful, um, but first of all, in this part, we're going to look at the Sauber C32, so, yeah. <coughs> so, here we have the new 2013 uh, Challenger for Sauber, and straight away you can see several new key elements. Uh, first of all is a striking new livery uh, which harks back to the early Sauber C13 in the all uh, grey colour. Uh, looks quite sexy to be honest I think, uh, sexy finish there. Uh, and it's also it's got the red and white stripes down the side uh, which uh, the red links to Ferrari. Um, not sure what the white's for. Looks good, I'm not complaining. Um, so the next key element is the front nose. Uh, from the side it looks like it's got a modesty panel. Um, however, go around to the front um, and look at it. It's got modesty panel, looks like it's been split into thirds. So each side of the middle bit has been taken and put on. However, the centre bit of the nose has still got the step in. Um, personally it looks a bit weird and not very not very good. You would think that they'd have the continuous flow or the step. Do they know something that we don't? Are they channeling in the air to a special area? Who knows? We'll obviously see during the season. Um, but yeah, it's fairly interesting. Um, but the, ne the next key thing, which is quite a big thing, um, and the Red Bull has used this as well, is the new side pods. Um, they're 50, well, roughly, not as much, but r roughly about 50% smaller than last year's side pods. So they have ridiculously amount of uh, reduction in it. Um, Matt Morris, the Sauber chief designer, has said that after Sergio Perez's uh, accident in Monaco uh, 2011, uh, they got the car back to the factory and they had seen that it was just crushed uh, up to the side, or you know, it was quite a big impact, and so it crushed all the side pod. Uh, and he said that after seeing this, they got the car back, saw the side pod was squashed in and thought I wonder if we could do that. Uh, the advantages of having the smaller side pods is more air can get around to the back of the car. I know we've said this about lots of other cars so far, but the fact of the matter is this will get a huge amount of air to the back of the car because there's less air to get around and there's these two turning vanes on the end of the side pods. Um, normally a side pod uh, would go out to the ends of these turning vanes but you can see how ridiculously or the ridiculous amount of reduction that's happened because well just look at it. Um, but these two turning vanes will guide the air um, into the designated area that they want so, 
uh, the, uh, it's a bold move um, but they said one of the challenges was packing it all in uh, the radiators and boxes um, like most things in Switzerland we got it just in time he carries on um, but it's not just the side pods that there's a radical overhaul uh, they've got a brand new braking system for this season uh, it was tested last season but never made a race uh, another thing is they've lightened, lightened the chassis um, so it, shall, it should be lighter um, but with all this reduction of the side pods making the chassis lighter is it just me or is the car not going to be heavy enough you know um, there's the minimum weight which is round about 600 kilograms I think it is roughly um, with all this lightening unless the car was ridiculously over last season what's going to make up? Uh, have they got a secret weapon? we don't know um, evolutions from last year's car uh, is the front end such as the uh, front wing and the exhaust um, they say that the exhaust isn't massively different to last year um, however it's been enhanced further uh, they've, they're running a Coanda exhaust as well as most teams uh, which enables the exhaust gases to be uh, pushed into the area that they want between the diffuser and the rear wheels uh, the front wing is well on the launch car uh, the front wing uh, is predominantly last year's wing with a few hints and tweaks uh, however the one that we will see at testing will be the one that will be used for the season um, so also well with this front wing um, due to the stricter loads on the front wings to stop bendy wings uh, they've had to reinforce it um, so they may have used more material, more carbon fibre, made it thicker or I don't know what maybe that's where the extra weight comes in um, but one of the key things they've said uh, Matt Morris has said is that they are going to experiment with the passive DRS uh, during pre-season testing which has started today and I believe Jensen uh, was top of testing uh, today so really that's it for the Sauber um, stunning to look at personally I think it does look one of the best on the grid um, the half step nose sort of step in the middle but on the side with the with a slight modesty step I think maybe doesn't look as good as it could look I think it would maybe look better if it was just a straight clean nose um, but I think what they've done here with the uh, side pods reduced the size and developed all the other stuff from last year I think this car could well I think it could challenge for victories maybe even the championship it looks like a good car they've got a good driver in Hulkenberg um, and Gutierrez is the second driver and Mexican has come up the ranks uh, a couple of years behind Perez um, could he be a Perez and do really well I mean it's second it was Perez's second season that he did really well uh, but could Gutierrez do really well and you know push this car Hulkenberg he's very experienced what could he do with it so overall I think it could be a title challenger I would love to see it challenge um, let's hope it can knock Red Bull off its perch so that's it for the Sauber